What's up everyone? This is Scott from drivingreview.com and I am in a 2022 Chrysler 300. <laughs> this is a big car. I wasn't actually expecting to be driving this one today. Uh, I'm in Edmonton, Canada, Edmonton, Alberta. It's beautiful here. It's a little cold and uh, anyway I had a full day uh, before my flight back to San Diego and I figured I'd rent a car and just uh, see what I could get and I ended up in this. It's a, like I said, it's a big car. Uh, it's It wasn't my first choice. It's all they had. But you know what? This isn't bad. It's nothing quite like what I thought the Chrysler 300 was going to be. It's a lot more sporty. Uh, it feels really tight. Build quality is excellent. I've only driven this thing maybe, you know, maybe, maybe 15 miles so far. And I'm really impressed by the build quality, which is saying a lot because I've never really been impressed with Chrysler products in the past. But this is decent. This is really nice. And also going back to the sporty thing, you know, I really had no idea these things were so sporty on the inside. You got paddle shifters here, a really nice gauge cluster, uh, just a really thick, I don't know if this is real leather, but this is a really thick steering wheel. Feels really good. Seats are, they're a little flat. There's a little bit of bolstering on the side, which feels good. I guess... You know, if if anything, I feel like I'm too small for this car because I feel like I can go from side to side and there's there's lots of room to slide around. But then again, this isn't a car you'd be throwing around in the tight twisties. So anyway, let's just go for a drive and I'm going to tell you all of the things that I like and I don't like about it. All the pros and cons, if you will. And there are a lot of them. I got a lot of them just on the top of my, my mind here, just after driving away from the airport and sitting in this spot collecting my thoughts so all right we got the key here a uh, little fob which is kind of cool put the foot on the brake press the button comes to life this car has the 3.6 liter v6 which is 305 horsepower 269 pound feet of torque and it feels okay it's you know it's not really fast but it gets around it moves uh, here in Edmonton where traffic is not really thick you can kind of punch it in a lot of places and just to, just to get a feel of what it's like and it's it's not bad and you know first things first let's test out the turning radius i need to get off this dirt road a lot of dirt roads around the edmonton airport there's really not much out here let's try not to get stuck in a ditch this morning <laughs> because i think it would be really hard to get someone to come out and help me there we go, We've got to turn around. Turning radius is okay. I guess that's a good thing for a big car like this. That's not so bad. So, yeah, so right off the bat, it's it's comfortable. That's one thing that I really do like. Uh, build quality is really good here on this dirt road. It's just the, the entire car feels solid. It's like a, it's just a solid piece of metal, which is really nice. So let's get out on the road here and we'll test out the acceleration stuff off the tires and then hit it floor it yeah <laughs> it's not it's not great all right so now that I'm driving into the sun I had the heater cranked way up this is something that I hate this infotainment screen here, this is all touch screen. There are no buttons to adjust temperature or settings or anything. I definitely don't like that because I'm, I'm taking my eyes off the road. And I mean, this is a rental car. I'm in an area where I, I, I don't know the roads and taking my eyes off the road like that is, is very dangerous. I, mean, I am in Edmonton. <laughs> There's really nothing out here, but you know, still it's, Deer can go across the river. Let's test this turning radius again. Get turned around. Let's see if I can do this without going off a ditch. All right. Let's do the acceleration one more time. Here we go. Foot to the floor. This is, this is a slow 
slow car. So back to some of the things that I don't like. One thing that really caught my eye right off the bat, as soon as I got in this car at the airport, there are these, um, just the plastic materials in here. It's just so cheap feeling. It looks cheap, it feels cheap. And I mean, I, I, I get it. It's a Chrysler product. You know, it's not really high end. This is a mass market car. It's, um, I guess, you know, you kind of have to expect it. But still, with all of the other nice things about this, I mean, it feels so good. It feels so solid. It feels like a solid chunk of metal. But then you see all these cheap plastic materials. And you're instantly reminded of what kind of car this is and that it's not. A BMW killer. <laughs> it's not. BMW's got nothing to worry about. Something else that I really like about this is the fact that it, it rides pretty good on these roads, which are pretty rough. I mean, these are paved roads, but there's a lot of sectioning joints like this, like that. And it, it seems to gobble that up pretty good. It's not bouncing around. I can take my hands off the wheel and it just tracks straight going over those bumps so yeah like I said it's a solid car I, I, I'm really impressed with that okay so even though I like Edmonton this is really cool this is not a very good place for twisty <laughs> mountain road driving at least not that I found and my only chance to really test out the cornering ability of this car is to drive around in industrial parks like this and go in corners and get myself dizzy. That leads me to something that I don't really like about this car is, I guess I'm going to say it, these seats. Now, the seats are fine for highway cruising, just going in a straight line, cruising down the freeway, they feel fine. But going around a corner, I'm definitely sliding around a little bit, a lot. <laughs> they don't hold me in at all and it's definitely noticeable so going around a corner like this or actually pulling out onto a road I'm sliding another acceleration it's not bad it's not a fast car but it's not bad but yeah the seats are the seats could be a little bit more supportive I think I just discovered something else that I don't really like about the Chrysler 300, and that is the view out of the rear view mirror. It's not bad, it's just, it's very, very narrow, and if your seat isn't adjusted properly, actually, it's taken me a little bit to get a position where I can see out of it fairly decently. The problem is that the, the window is so narrow that it's just kind of like a small little slit to see out of can't really see a lot out of it. I think maybe it's one of those things I could get used to, but right off the bat, not really liking that. All right, so I am going to try out the paddle shifters here. Let's see how these work. comes with sport mode and cruising along here at 105 <laughs> that's kilometers per hour not miles per hour I'm gonna put it in sport mode yeah definitely a lot more responsive that's really nice I can definitely tell a difference it's not as lazy as it was just in the regular drive mode so that's something that I like So I've got the car in sport mode now, and let's try an acceleration. Yeah, it accelerates with a lot more vigor. It's a little faster, maybe. It's hard to say. I don't know, but it definitely, the, the shifts are a lot faster, snappier. Uh, feels faster. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit. It's not fast though. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, it's not fast, but it's, it's actually kind of nice. So for me, if this was my
my car, and this is my daily driver, I would definitely be keeping it in sport mode because drive mode, the regular drive mode, if you put it back in that, it's really lazy. And there's a big difference between drive and sport. So I'm really liking sport. And let's go back to that and we'll keep it there for the rest of the time that I have this car. You know, I, I keep wanting to put my hand on a shift lever. That's, I guess that's not really something you can fault the Chrysler 300 for because a lot of cars are getting rid of the shift levers entirely. And they're just going to these little knobs. But I just want to put my hand there and there's nothing there. <laughs> it's just, it's a little, it's a little disappointing. Something else that I really like about the 300 is the way that it looks. When I was walking up to it at the airport, the very first thing that came to my mind was the word gangster. <laughs> it's just got that look to it. I wouldn't call it an intimidating car. Oh, wait, 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 we got a corner here. The first corner that I've come up to, a 90 degree, <laughs> here we go. Very low speed, going around. Yeah, it's a big boat, all that body roll. But there you go, that is the extent of the curves in Edmonton. So anyway, back to what I was saying about the way that it looked. I actually like it. It's a somewhat intimidating looking car. Masculine is probably a good word for it. Oh wait, you got another corner here. Two hands on the wheel, going around the corner. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think it's a really good looking car. Not particularly my style, especially not in this color. Uh, being white like this, it, it just looks like a rental car, but with the black wheels and some of the black accents, it looks really nice. You know, something that I don't like, I haven't really had the opportunity to test this out yet, but the blind spots are actually pretty thick. They're pretty severe in this car. I wouldn't say severe, but they're definitely noticeable. When I was on the freeway, going away from the airport, trying to merge into different lanes on the freeway, looking over my shoulder like that, or on this side, those really thick C-pillars, they get in the way. And it's not really something that I would expect in a car this big. I can't think of any other cars right off the bat that I've driven recently with blind spots as bad as this. Well, I think that pretty much sums up my initial impressions of this car. That's what this entire video was. If you're thinking about getting a Chrysler 300, at least a 2022 model like this one is, uh, you should definitely look into it. This video is intended to give you my first impressions. There are a lot of things that I don't like, of course, but there are a lot of things that I do like, and I think the things that I do like, they, they outweigh the things that I don't like, so overall, I'm impressed. I mean, this isn't really my style at all. I'm not really into big, full-size cars like this, but if I had to get a full-size car, I might consider this if the price is right. I could get a good deal on it. And I'll just park it here and get some pictures and, and end the video. But I should just say that there are so many other better cars for the money. Possibly. It just depends really what you're into. But overall, it's not bad. I mean, like I said, if, if you're considering a 300 and you're wondering if it's, if it's a decent car, if it's going to be good for daily driving, I think it would be. Uh, it's comfortable. It's smooth. If all you're doing is just highway cruising, it's fine. It's, it's really, it's more than fine. But it just, when it comes to performance driving, or if you live in an area like Southern California or wherever where there's twisty roads and you like to have fun every now and then, this isn't the car for that, obviously. But is it bad that I smell something burning? <laughs> it's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Maybe this is a bad car. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a full write-up of all the pros and cons of this car on my blog. So if you want more information that wasn't in this video, definitely do check out that blog post. I will link it in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.